Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. No Inquiring problem. minds want to know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think I talked to someone recently, too, who they, they said that console players is way more popular, but that's for, I, I don't think I actually ever... I didn't actually look up the number, but yeah, it's 1.8 billion. That's for people. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So that's more people than in our country. Yeah, that's that's like um, about 1%, or sorry, 10% of the world's population. So... Yeah, pretty close. Oh, all right. Um, so this next do, one, do, I think, do, do, this do, next do. one is a romance. I a think romantic so. Romantic drama, maybe a romantic comedy. Um, based on the name, I like the. No wait, is that is that a uh that's the song right? It's a Frank Sinatra song, right? I think that yeah, I think it is Frank Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, so this is named after a Frank Sinatra song, so have you heard of anything about this? Do you know anything about I, it? I just know the song. Yeah, yeah, me too, that's, yeah. All right, so we're both in the same boat, then let's check it out. We are watching the trailer for... Hey, everybody! I wanted to let you guys know about another YouTube channel, interestingly named Gaming. You can follow the link below to find them and dive into the exciting world of gaming. Gaming is the ultimate destination for all things gaming. You can see gameplay from the latest selections to classic games and everything in between from extreme car driving simulator to Sonic the Hedgehog on mobile. Go check them out and remember, Supporting our sponsors is supporting the pack. The Action Pack. Fly Me to the Moon. Official trailer. Sony Picture Entertainment. Uh, we're going to like the video. It's got 1.2 million views to 27,000 likes and 874 dislikes. So the whole world will be watching. Hashtag Fly Me to the Moon starring Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum coming exclusively to movie theaters in uh, July. Uh, this July. Uh, starring Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum, Fly Me to the Moon is a sharp, stylish comedy drama set against the high-stakes backdrop of NASA's historical Apollo 11 moon landing. Brought Ooh. in to fix... Yeah, brought in to fix NASA's public image. Sparks fly in all directions as marketing maven Kelly Jones, played by Johansson, wreaks havoc on launch director Cole Davis... Davis's, which is Channing Tatum, um, Davis's already difficult task. When the White House deems the mission too important to fail, Jones is directed to stage a fake moon landing as a backup. And the countdown oh, truly begins. Mm. Okay. Mm. So Scarlett Johansson is going to try to fake the moon landing while Channing Tatum is going to try to successfully um, actually land on the moon. That'll be interesting. Um... Any thoughts on this before we get started? Uh, when you read the little description there, I, I became more interested. All right, yeah, it does sound yeah. interesting. Let, let's let's uh, let's check it out. We are uh, so we've got a two minute and thirty one second trailer. Are you ready? I'm ready. The action pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as three dollars a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Here we go. Hey, Joe. Evening, Cole. Miss, you're on fire. It's very original. No, I do not want to stop, drop, and roll with you. No, your book is on fire. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God. Alcohol and flames, they like each other. <laughs> Cold days. Kelly Jones. Okay, so they meet each other, have a little bit of an attraction, and mm -hmm. then she becomes, she, she, then they find out later that, um, you know, like, he finds out later, oh, she's actually the woman that I have to work with, and she becomes a major pain in his butt. So that's an interesting... Okay. That's an interesting... Okay, here we go. Interesting yeah, thing. let's see. Let's see. 
Public support for the moon mission is rock bottom. Every day, something is breaking. And we're dead, again. Yeah, we're blowing up. Whoa! The space program is a bloated mess. NASA needs a marketing specialist, and you are the very best. Excuse me? What are you doing here? I tracked you down because I felt we had a connection. What? I'm joking. I work here now to sell the moon. <laughs> Okay. This is not something that you sell with a jingle and a slogan. When I'm done, those men are going to be bigger than the Beatles. Who is that? For me, this is very personal. He's got my name. You told me that your guys don't do interviews, so I had to hire new guys. I'm here for the casting. Who's he? You. You're a juicy part. 60 missions in Korea. I flew 52 <laughs> missions in Korea. I don't know that you would need to replace Channing Chatham with a with a younger, more attractive version of himself. He's he's pretty young. He's pretty attractive looking. He's got a nice build, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's funny. interesting. Yeah, that is that. That's interesting. It makes it more interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here, here we go. Moving forward. Sixty missions in Korea. I flew fifty-two missions in Korea. I flew fifty-two missions in Korea. How's that? What? The whole world will be watching. <laughs> we can't afford to lose to the Russians. Okay. We need to shoot the backup version of the moon landing. Ah. You mean to fake it? No one can ever know what we're doing. I cannot accept that. They will shoot you. What is my budget? Oh, boy. <laughs> I know a lot more about the moon than I know about you. Give me go, no go okay. for launch. If you fake this mission, every single thing that we have sacrificed will have been for nothing. You know you couldn't have made it to the sea without me. I just wanna I just wanna point this out. I you know, they're talking about faking the moon, like doing a backup, like a fake, and then they did the real mission. There's all these rumors about the moon landing having been faked. It's possible, I don't know, okay? For sure, like I wasn't there, but it is possible that maybe they at this could have actually happened. I don't know if they've verified that this really did happen, that they did do a fake moon ending like like this, but they actually did the real thing. It's possible, I believe that we actually, uh, it did go to the moon, I'm, okay. What I'm saying, it is possible that they did a fake moon landing as a backup, like they're talking about, and then those reports of those two things got mixed up by, you know, like conspiracy theorists, people who look into this type of thing, and that's where the idea of a fake moon landing came from. What do you think of that? Well, no, it's a conspiracy that's been going on that I've heard people talk about. I'm not. I just, yeah. it's too big a thing that you can hide. Right, yeah. Somebody's going to squeal. Yeah, well, and, and well, the other thing, too, is that is that um, we are now planning to go back to the moon right now. The United States is planning to send people back to the moon. I don't know if you knew that, but um, it's an interesting thing. I, I have no doubt... Me. Yeah, so I, I will tell you, even if this didn't actually happen, where they did like a fake moon landing as a as a you know backup, um, I have no doubt that the U.S. government would do a fake moon landing as a backup. You know, like it wouldn't surprise me, but I do believe that we actually did go to the moon. Um, I did. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But anyway, we got about thirty seconds left, so let's move forward here. All right, smooth. Whiny little bitch, we have to recast. Uh oh. I think we should have gotten Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have gotten Stanley Kubrick to fake the moon landing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, I think that, like just like you said, um in the beginning it sounded like a romantic comedy, but now it just looks sounds like maybe like okay, so probably there's gonna be some romance here, but leaning more into the comedy than the romance. Um Probably I would just call this a comedy, but it definitely sounds interesting. It sounds plausible. I think what makes it interesting is that it sounds like something that at least could have happened and may very well have happened. I do believe we went to the moon. I'm not a conspiracy theorist in that mm -hmm. way. Uh, I do believe we went to the moon, but it definitely sounds like something that the U.S. government would have said, hey, look, we cannot handle the embarrassment if we fail, so let's make a fake moon landing yeah. just in case we <laughs> fail, and then that's what we can release to the public. 
it's a it's a story. It's just a fun story that you know. Yeah. There's, that you know, you know, I don't think you have to think through it too hard, but yeah, people eat, like you can't hide them. A fake moon landing. That's just really hard. Yeah. So well, yeah. I think that one of the ways that you can tell that the moon landing was real is that. Like, it didn't happen this way, where they would have done, like, a fake one, okay? Is that if they had done a fake moon landing like they're describing here, then what the, what then they probably would have had to do something where when the, when the rocket came back to Earth, or they would have had to invent a fake way that all the astronauts died, so that way they wouldn't have to have them go around the world and tour and meet people. Because, you know, mm -hmm. after the moon landing actually happened, when, when Buzz Aldrin and... Um, Neil, Neil Armstrong, Neil Armstrong, Lance, Neil, Neil or Lance? I'm, why am I getting Neil, Ar confused? Neil Armstrong from the great state of Ohio, from Wapakoneta. I've been to um, that city to see his museum. Okay. As a kid. So, yeah, so those guys, yeah. uh, they immediately, like after they came back, they went and met the president they met the queen of england they met mm -hmm. all these different dignitaries around the world okay so i think that if it was fake they would have had a they would have the the news reports would have said like oh unfortunately the entire team of astronauts died and then those people would have basically gone back into right. the, the act if it were actors they would have just kind of sank into this obscurity for national security reasons um yeah yep. so yeah yeah interesting um, I, yeah, I do definitely. I like Scarlett Johansson. I like Shannon Tatum. So I mean, yeah, they got some good actors on there. Plus, uh, yeah. Woody Harrelson, right? Is that right? Yes, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. And he, I don't know who he's playing, but he's this guy right here. If you yeah. Saw it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, this definitely looks like it's 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 going to be an interesting mix. So, uh, let's go to comments to see what other people are saying about it. Um, let's see. And every moon landing conspiracy theorist just sat up and said, see, I told you so. <laughs> right. uh, I want to, one second, check that out later. All set to make a Kubrick, jo Kubrick joke at the end. And there was a Kubrick joke at the end. Can't wait to see this. Um, I swear if they actually end up using this movie to say that we never went to the moon, I'm, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> It's comedic. It's it's comedic how people. How sorry, excuse me. How more people are willing to believe we didn't land on the moon based on a two minute trailer of a fictional rom com, than of the thousands of pages of radio communications, spacecraft telemetry videos, photos, science and technology of the real missions. Go. If that doesn't make you sad for humanity, I don't know what does. There you go. Scarlet is so yep effing great at this type of mm. comedic savagery. There's no one more entertaining to watch than. To watch take a beating than Channing Tatum, plus Scarlett's hair is awesome. So people look like they're <laughs> one going to use this to support the yeah. conspiracy theories, and two, they look like it looks like people are liking the movie. So yeah, yeah, I agree. I think this looks good. So yeah. definitely, yeah, I, I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Oh, um, go what's what's oh, it coming out on again? So Netflix. this is coming out. Is it coming out on Netflix? No, 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 no. This is oh, it's the actual, so. actual theater. It says launches this July, exclusively oh, in theaters. All right, that's cool. So go, go check it out in theaters in yeah. July. Now I, I'm going to be in Italy from June, the end of June to the end of July. You, so, you can still see it. You're just going to have to have Ellie translate. Yeah. Well, well. So in Italy, the the the, the movies come out <laughs> in theaters they come out um in english with italian subtitles yeah i know i'm just messing with you yeah. but um yeah go check it out in july yeah there you go uh listen we've got the ad break coming up so we're gonna go to intermission now and then we're gonna come back and try to finish up the last four trailers so here guys go. uh here we go we will see you guys after these short messages don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. 
And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.